So the spirits can see the, um, the soul condition of everybody. Is that dependent on where the, the spirits are in their development, or can they just see that by their very nature? If they're a celestial spirit, they see your actual soul condition. If they are a spirit on the natural love path, and particularly a first sphere spirit, what they see is the colours in your body and they know that that colour represents that emotion. Or the way they look at it more is, that's a colour I can use to my benefit, or that's not a colour I can use to my benefit. That's how they see it. So they don't even really see your soul condition. All they see is the injury and how they can manipulate it. So let's say you're a quite developed person, spiritually. However, and in love you're quite developed. However, you've got a problem with alcohol. Every time you know you go out to drink, you have a tendency to want to just get blotto. And that's driven by a sad emotion in you that you haven't released yet. So that's the case. So a spirit won't see all of your lovely qualities and all of the nice things. That a first fear spirit won't see all that. A celestial spirit will, but a first fear spirit won't. What they will see is, eh, he likes getting drunk. I like getting drunk too. Let's get together, right? And so what he'll do is influence you into places that will actually cause you to drink more and then overcloak you so that he can have a drink as well and feel the same emotions. So I can be very mediumistic and actually be there getting drunk at the pub for the sake of the spirit who's with me. And that's why many people go totally unconscious and yet they're still standing up drinking. Because no longer is the person connected to their body anymore. Mostly it's the spirit connected to the body just forcing more down. Right? And being out of character too. And being out of character too, because it's actually the spirit's character that's being expressed. Right? So that's what's happening a lot of times with those kind of things. So a person can be very mediumistic, and that, medium, that mediumistic ability can be used by spirits to get what they want if I've got a certain soul condition. So it all gets back to soul condition. It all gets back to that. So the key is, if you want to develop your mediumship, is to develop your soul condition. That's the key. And it's quite simple when you understand that. All I've got to do is develop soul condition. If I'm attracting some angry spirits, okay, I must be feeling some rage in here that I'm not recognising. So what I need to do is start releasing this and getting connected with it and releasing it. Once I release that, do you think I'm going to attract those same spirits? nowhere near as much. They might still be attracted because they might want to have a chat with me to, let, to ask me how I did it, but they won't be connected to me trying to make me angry anymore because it's impossible. They can't make me angry anymore. 